So when you get the kit, you get three coils of cable um, in the in the, the pack itself, and you also get some instructions. And Callum, um, the ex commander, actually lays out some some um, it gives you some tips basically on how to deal with the cable. Um, but I will say that I'm quite impressed with this cable. It's um, it's quite soft, and you've got to try very hard to get this to sort of tangle up. It's kind of it's not that sort of cable. You know what I mean? There's some cables that uh, really do um, want to tangle up, especially with me. It just seems to. I'm very good at tangling cables. Now, um, I've actually, as I say. Um, been downstairs and measured out the the, uh, the lengths on on the floor. Um, now I did ask Callum um, whether or not he had any sort of tips um, on the best way of actually uh, doing that, um, and he suggested that the the way to do it is because obviously it's quite a long length. The first one is a it's a huge length. Um, it's you know just over eleven um, eleven meters. Um, and um, I don't have that sort of space. And I'll be honest, um, it's too cold outside. I mean, it was minus three, I think, yesterday. Um, no thanks, it's miles too. And, the, you know, everything looks a drab outside at the moment, which is depressing. Um, so, um, to be honest, I, I wasn't going to do that. So I, I stayed inside. I laid everything out on the floor. Callum suggested what I did was, I mean, I've only got a five metre tape as well. So um, what he suggested was that um, that I, I basically measure out five metres, double it, and then and then do it that way, um, which I did. Um, and yeah, it worked out. It worked out OK in the end. Um, it that is the worst bit about doing it, I'll be honest. Um, so if you're in any way um, sort of worried about doing it, you know, don't don't worry about it. Take your time um, when you're cutting that cable, um, then when you're cutting the cable up, because um, you know it's not it's not so bad. Um, it did take a while. That was the longest bit out of all of it. Um, it took me about an hour to cut the cable. Um, it took me, um, I suppose, yesterday. I was basically cutting the cable and then sort of putting it on, you know, putting the area all together. Um, and I suppose I spent about an hour and a half yesterday, but I'll show you what I've done in just a second. At the moment, what I'm doing is I've, I've basically stripped back um, about sort of 10 or 12 mil and then I folded it back on itself. Um, and the idea is I'm going to solder that up, get it in one of these blue um, terminals um, and then get it soldered all together. And then what I'm doing is I'm doubling up the um, heat shrink. I've, I've actually got my own grey heat shrink here. Callum does provide some in, in the tube, but this is glue lined. And I think this is going to be used mainly for the um, for the, car, uh, the carabiners and the elasticated parts and maybe some of the fold backs and things like that. So I'm reluctant to waste it, to be honest. So I'm going to keep that back for when I desperately need it. But here what I've done is I've doubled up some heat shrink on, on these and I've made a very strong joint. You can see just how stiff that is um, just by, by doing that. Um, and it, I mean, that works very well. Um, and it, it's got a good grip on there as well, which excellent. I'm very pleased with that. So let's get doing that. So, yeah, I've... Um, I've been very busy. I've had um, I've had a couple of weeks off work, and uh, I've been able to play radio. Um, I've actually managed to. I've I've been home brewing. I've I've basically built my um, my Ubit X, um, which has turned out better than uh, than I'd expected. Um, I mean, it worked out really really well. Um, by the way, long long piece on first, and then the short piece because they're gonna you're gonna heat the uh, short piece up first in a mo um yeah i've been really really busy i've built the uber x and i've got videos and stuff um somewhere along so if you've not subscribed subscribe and uh, hit the bell notification because other things will come up um but the other thing is as well if you 
go through my my videos you'll see that there's uh, the ubit x which i i built um that's turned out really well um in fact it's, it's turned out really really well and um, only drag is i do have a bit of an issue um and that it is a bit deaf um so there are some alignment things i've got to i've got to do um but i'll i'll, I'll get to those um i'll get to doing that okay so uh, with my trusty crimpers um, i'm sure you've all seen these before okay just making sure that that's all nicely lined up and give it some welly there you go it's nice and secure and then what I'm going to do is, with a pair of helping hands, um, I, I was asked the other day um, if I had a link to my um, Yellow Stanley uh, Vice, and the answer is yes, and I'll put a link to that in the description. Um, you know, full disclosure and all that sort of stuff. I do use um, Amazon affiliate links. It does help with the channel, um, which is, becoming more expensive um to uh, to run um some things are um are sort of given on demo and i do borrow things from work from time to time but probably 90 percent of the stuff is actually purchased by me um just so that uh, so that you know so any sort of little helps and all that sort of stuff um this will be extremely hot please don't burn your fingers um I'm lucky I have blacksmith's fingers and um yeah I don't uh, I don't tend to get too too burnt but saying that it can happen All right as he gets out the the big stuff now I don't recommend doing that at home I am slightly insane so it's all good and then we'll give that a good squeeze up <laughs> right and that one is there that one's done so all I do is we'll let that one cool off Still a bit rubbery at the moment. Another one done. So we've now got the two. Well, I've actually got three. I did the big one yesterday trying to work out the best way forward. Um, this is um, this is my take on things, by the way. This is not strictly following the instructions. I'm just kind of having fun, really, which is kind of what it's all about. Just because, um, you know, Callum put some instructions in the package. As long as you stick to the, the basics, you know, if you want to put a little bit of a um, a twist on uh, on how you do things, then feel free. Why not? Um, what I will say also is that the quality of the kit um, that you get is really very, very good. Um, it's, um, there were no shortages that um, I can I can see. Uh, the quality of the um, the components uh, um, are very very good um, you know better than than you know some big manufacturers of uh, of antennas I've been quite quite pleased um, now I obviously I did do a bit of a deal with with uh, with Callum on the on the antenna um, but I don't have to say anything nice about it and uh, if anyone knows me they um, they know that I don't work like that um, if I think something's crap, I will say it's crap. Um, but I can't say that. So that's, that can only be a good thing. I've had um, nothing but really sort of like a good experience. And uh, I'm very pleased with it. Um, I'm going to do some mods to it, actually. Um, there are some things that... Uh, the way that I'm going to use the antenna is slightly probably slightly different than the most I, I want to try and keep the whole thing assembled I, I, I'm not into this kind of go out and spend 20 or 30 minutes 
reassembling something only to disassemble it I just want to be able to sh shoot it up and put it back down again so I'm going to leave the whole thing together um, I'm going to make sort of something that uh, will contain it but what I've worked out is with what I've done so far is that if there were some extra rings on it um, on the top sections that whole thing would then drop down leaving all the cables all in, in intact um, with like four or five or six droops that you can kind of clump together coil up and then just use some of this uh, velcro sort of stuff um, and just link everything up um, and then maybe just put like a oh what I'll do is I'll make a canvas hood or something like that which will go over the whole lot like they do on some of the pump up masts um, and then I can store it complete so it's ready to go so all I've got to do is if I go out on the garden and I want to use it I can just fire it up put this put the uh, the guy line out and just fire the thing straight up and it, I'm done or I haven't got a muck about with anything and I like that um, right so what am I doing here um, same thing as I did before um, I've stripped um, 10 or 12 mil of uh, of copper um, and um, and I just folded it back and then quite simply taking my solder and just tinning it up job done give it a little bit of a bit of a squeeze down just to make it um, slightly rounder so that it goes into these blue uh, crimp terminals um, if it doesn't fit don't don't push it in there because what happens is the cable will double up and um, you don't want that um, so it's just best just to take your time and do that and if I didn't say already did I say that the cable was nice I like the cable um, it's very rubbery it's got an unusual feel to it I'm very impressed there you go look at that and again get the helping hands if I can find them oh yeah someone said um, I can't remember if I said but someone said to me um, I need to tidy my uh, my bench up you are quite right I do need to tidy my bench up but be honest i've been having a lot of fun this week um and uh oh, the last couple of weeks um i've been doing videos i've been building the u-bit um and um i've actually spent a lot of time home brewing and basically uh you know basically just using it right don't blow on things but this has got a plastic uh, sort of outside um it, it will melt um, quite easily um, I'm trying not to melt it but you know it might, it might happen and I've buggered that up haven't I look what an idiot um, forgot to put my uh, heat shrink on because I was yakking um, but that's alright we'll do it the long way round give you some idea of how good this cable is because um, there were some cables that would probably knot up, um, um, but this doesn't seem to. I, I, it's a very unusual cable. And this is one of the long ones, actually. This is one of the long elements. Um, what would be quite nice now would be um, sort of like a labelling machine or something like that. Um, I mean, look, this is cable. But it's got a really unusual sort of thing to it and this is in real time I've not tried anything I've just literally coiled that around my finger it's kind of it's quite nice it's it's very I can't really describe it's got a feel to it um, and it's very very flexible you can see just how flexible it's nice it's good stuff right now then I'm hard to please as well um, so they say so and again look it's I'm pulling that straight off the floor 
and there's no sort of kinks it's not a, a cable that wants to kink up all the time and I found it to be very useful and as I say you know I'm under no obligation to say anything good about it um, it is quite nice So please don't burn your fingers and if you uh, and, and don't do this I'm only doing it because I can't be bothered to get the hot air gun out and I'm a trained professional this is the DX commander as I've got it so far and you can kind of see that um, I've left it part assembled um, and whether or not it's right or not I don't know yet we'll, we'll soon see but you can see what I've done there um, this lower section you can see that actually you unscrew the lower cap and then the bottom section screws in between the cap and obviously this bottom section this one then slides down up against this um, ridge on the lower on the plastic um, like main part of the cap um, the cables the, the elements connect on this top ring um, as, as, as shown there um, and obviously all your radials then connect to these and you can just put as many or as whatever you can out so let's uh, I'm going to stretch it back out again um, and uh, we'll we'll see see what happens bear with okay so what I've done here um, is I've just put all the the Jubilee clips on and all I'm doing is really pushing this up against that just giving it a squeeze with my hand and then when you tighten these up you know I'm using my my fingers on the end here so that when it gets to a point and I can't put any any more any force on it with my finger and I'm really it's just you can feel when it starts to bite this once it starts to bite stop okay don't try and tighten it up there's no need for it to be tight because this this tube really does grip the um, the actual glass fiber and that is good enough um, for that you can still rotate it around where you need to um, and I'm just putting this together just because I want to put it together just to make sure that it all all works okay so what I've got here is all my elements I've got a tape measure I'm just going to double check which ones I've got and then I'm going to start connecting them up so um, what I'll do is um, bit sorted out right so, what's that one uh, that's one two right, okay so that one is basically 2.5 so let's find that one um, yeah, two two four five uh, plus fifty mil. Uh, so uh, two meters four hundred and fifty plus fifteen fifty mil. So this is the ten meter element. So what we can then do is we can put on the next page, I believe. Bear with. Okay. Right. So I've connected. Um, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six radials on there okay and if we follow this along it's now looking all loose and baggy and stuff but you can see that it goes right the way up now to the, the top of the antenna um the jubilee clips are on in place just to, so that i know that they fit um and now I'm going to uh, keep saying it, but I'm now actually going to start thinking about elastics. Um, you should really, I, I suspect, start to sort of tune it 
um, as you do this um, but I'm not going to I'm going to be brave um, I'm just going to cut the elastics and get them ready to roll so uh, on to the next bit bear with okay <sighs> I've now put everything together um, as I think it should go I will <laughs> Now speak to uh, Callum just to make sure that uh, I've interpreted everything correctly. Um, what I'm going to do is um, I'll, um, I'll, sp I'll speak to him and um, I, I did notice a couple of um, things that I think are a little confusing with the documentation um, and I think could be improved. But if that is like i said before um you know so far so good everything is cut as per the um dimensions on the instructions and it's looking all right um i will get it tested um and uh, hopefully i'll be able to get a few contacts uh, with it but yeah no it looks good so again thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed subscribe and uh, time will tell with this and I will try and uh, get some some results um, uh, published and maybe we'll go um, portable with it um, with the U bit or something like that it would be very nice to get some bits and bobs uh, worked on the on the U bit okay again thanks for watching see you soon Okay, before I go, finally, I just wanted to show you um, exactly the sort of uh, the, the whole setup that uh, how I'm going to leave it stored um, because what I want to be able to do is just pick this whole thing up. I don't want to muck about um, putting bits and pieces together, hooking anything. I just want to grab it and. Uh, throw it up and uh, so it's ready to go but that's essentially it um, so there you go and the whole thing is I reckon about sort of five feet long when it's done like that um, absolute max and um, possibly four and a half feet but there you go happy days thanks for watching and uh, yeah see you soon